Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Are you running Windows 11 but finding it's not quite your fit, maybe you're facing compatibility issues, or you just prefer the familiarity of Windows 10? Today's tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do it with a clean install method. We'll download the official Windows 10 ISO, install it, and confirm activational while keeping things simple and safe. Stick with me, and let's get your PC back to Windows 10. Step 1. Back up your data and check activation. Before we start, let's make sure your data is safe and confirm your current activation status. Since we're doing a clean install to downgrade, all your files, apps and settings will be wiped, so a backup is crucial. Copy any important files, like documents, photos or videos, to an external drive or cloud storage. Next, let's check if your Windows 11 is activated, which ensures Windows 10 will activate after the downgrade. Click the Start button, then the gear icon to open Settings. In Settings, select System, scroll down, and click Activation. You should see Windows is activated with a digital license semin, says Windows 11 Pro is activated. This digital license is tied to your hardware, so even if you originally upgraded from Windows 10 or activated with a Windows 11 key, Windows 10 should activate automatically after the downgrade. Make a note of your Edition Minds Pro, so I'll install Windows 10 Pro. Step 2. Download the Windows 10 ISO using the Media Creation Tool. Now, let's get the official Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft. Open your browser and search for Windows 10 Download. Click the first result from Microsoft.com, usually titled Download Windows 10. Scroll down to the section that says Create Windows 10 Installation Media and click the Download Now button under Media Creation Tool. Once the download finishes, locate the file in your Downloads folder it's called Media Creation Tool 22H2 or Similan double-click to run it. The Windows 10 setup window will open. It'll prepare a few things, then show a license agreement, click Accept. On the next screen, you'll see two options. Upgrade this PC now or Create Installation Media. Select Create Installation Media for another PC and click Next. The tool will suggest your system's language, edition, and architecture. Since my system uses French, it defaults to French, Windows 10 Pro, and 64-bit. But I want to use English United States instead, so I'll uncheck Use the recommended options for this PC, then select English United States as the language, keeping Windows 10 Pro and 64-bit to match my activated edition from step one. Make sure your edition matches what you noted earlier, then click Next. Now, choose ISO file instead of USB flash drive and click Next. Choose a save location, like your desktop hand, click Save. The tool will download the Windows 10 ISO, which is about four gigabytes, so this might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, click Finish to close the tool. If you're ready to get back to Windows 10, hit that subscribe button to join the passionate about tech community. Let's keep your tech journey smooth together. Step 3. Mount the ISO and start the installation. With the ISO downloaded, let's start the installation process. On your desktop or wherever you saved the ISO, right-click the Windows 10 ISO file and select Mount. This creates a virtual drive, usually labeled as Drive E or similar and if find the new drive, you'll see a setup.exe file double-click it to start the Windows 10 setup. The setup will prepare, then show a screen about updates. I recommend selecting Download and Install Updates to get the latest drivers and features click that option, then Next. It'll download updates, which might take a few minutes, then show the license terms click Accept to continue. On the next screen, you'll see Choose what to keep. Since we're downgrading with a clean install, the options to keep files and apps or keep personal files only will be grayed out. It'll say nothing, everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. This is why we backed up in step one. If you're sure you've backed up everything, click Next. You'll get a warning confirming your selection. Click Next again to proceed. And finally, click Install. The setup will now prepare for the installation, which might take a bit, so be patient. Step 4. 
Complete the Windows 10 installation. Now, the actual installation begins. Your PC will restart several times during this process. Don't press any keys unless prompted. You'll see a progress screen showing installing Windows 10 with stages like copying files, installing features, and installing updates. This can take 30 minutes to an hour depending on your hardware. Once the installation finishes, your PC will boot into the Windows 10 setup screen. First, select your region, then your keyboard layout. I'll choose English United States for both and click Next. On the network screen, click I don't have internet in the bottom left to set up an offline account, avoiding a Microsoft account for now. Click Continue with limited setup, then enter a username I'll use TechFan. Click Next. You can set a password or leave it blank. I'll skip it for now by clicking Next. On the Privacy Settings screen, I recommend turning off all toggles for a cleaner setup like Location, Ads, and Diagnostics, then click Accept. Windows 10 will finalize your settings, showing messages like Getting things ready for you. This might take a few minutes. Then you'll land on the Windows 10 desktop welcome back to Windows 10. Step 5. Verify activation and finalize setup. Let's confirm that Windows 10 is activated and finish setting up. Right-click the Start button and select Settings. In Settings, go to Update and Security, then click Activation on the left. You should see Windows is activated with a digital license scene. It says Windows 10 Pro is activated. This happens because the digital license is tied to your hardware. So even if you originally activated Windows 11, Windows 10 recognizes the license and activates automatically. If it's not activated, you might need to enter your original product key check your Microsoft account or purchase records for that. Finally, go to Windows Update in Settings and click Check for updates to install the latest drivers and security patches. You might need to restart a few times. And that's it, tech fans. You've just learned how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10, even after the 10-day rollback period. We backed up our data, downloaded the Windows 10 ISO, performed a clean install, confirmed activation, and set up our system all while keeping things simple and safe. Now you're back on Windows 10, ready to roll. If this tutorial helped you get back to Windows 10, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with Passionate About Tech. Drop a comment below why did you decide to downgrade or do you want a tutorial on managing drivers next? Thanks for watching. Stay passionate about tech and I'll see you in the next video.